my little I don't know exactly how this camera angle is because I'm recording this on my phone because my phone does have a better camera than my computer. The reason I want to my computer is because the front camera on my phone is now all blurry. But I'm trying to use the back camera. Don't know how this looks because when I'm doing that, I can't see my recording. And so this is kind of an experiment. Let me kind of look at it afterwards. Let Oh, well, this looks pretty good. I hope everything's in frame, including this hat and this shirt, which shows our first World Series appearance and our last World Series appearance uh, as National League people and then American League people. And now uh, the cast going away, finally. So, today uh, I was going to talk about some pretty important news because... Well, Jordan Alvarez, the former Rookie of the Year, the Rookie of the Year from last year, who did had an amazing uh, rookie season as a designated hitter, who was going to be our designated hitter this year, may, you know, we have to come and be prepared for not having him for opening day or, you know, a little bit of the beginning of the season. And that's definitely going to be pretty interesting. Because he right now he is on IR. Uh, they're not giving me any specific reason why. But what we do know is that unless the players, you know, give explicit permission, they are not allowed to say that they're on IR for COVID-related reasons. And with that in mind... It's probably COVID-related reasons. And they can be put on IR if they've been around someone with COVID. So does, they don't even have to have COVID. Or if they just have symptoms that might link them to having COVID. Which again, again, it doesn't mean they have to have COVID. So they're... Jordan Alvarez either has COVID, has symptoms, or was around someone with COVID. That's what it seems like. And with that in mind... We may not see him opening day or the beginning part of the season, depending on what the injury is, depending on how long he's going to be on the IR. And so, what Dusty Baker has been saying is Kyle Tucker could be in the designated hitter spot, or more accurately, Kyle Tucker and Michael Brentley. And what this kind of means is that's pretty interesting. It's a good way to kind of work in Kyle Tucker uh, at the beginning of the season because he was going to be fighting with uh, Josh Reddick for that right field spot and because uh, Josh Reddick is really good defensively and Kyle Tucker has the better bat. So they're trying to see who they would want in that spot. Uh, the Gold Gold finalist or this rookie player who had a lot of problems in the bat. Well, this would give them a little more time to figure that question out as they have Kyle Tucker work as a designated hitter. See how exactly how good that bat is. And they're going to uh, switch it around with Michael Brentley. So Kyle Tucker's going to have some time in left field because he has, you know, time in left field and in right field, both corners, at left field to work out his defensive abilities because this signs where Michael Brentley is going to be in the designated hitter spots in. What the seat baker has said is it depends on who the pitcher is at the time and what they're going to be needing at the time, how they're going to switch it around. So sometimes Kyle Tucker is going to be designated hitter, sometimes Michael Brindley is going to be designated hitter. And this is if Jordan Alvarez is not here at the beginning of the season, if he's not here opening day, and we're probably going to be missing him. And... It's really not good to be missing a player, period, even for beginning of the season because of how short this specific season is. Because this is going to be a really short season. But at the same time, this is a pretty good way to kind of help figure things out with Cal Tucker. Uh, we'll see exactly how good, get a little bit more out of him. See how good that bat is. Again, see if it's going to be good still. See how 
good his defensive ability is going to be this year. And really see Josh Reddick. Because uh, Josh Reddick, again, is really good defensively. Just kind of has a bit of bat problems. He's pretty streaky in the bat. He'll go on a long hitting streak. But what kind of kills us is whenever he goes pretty dead on the bat. Which is happens quite a lot. He's not the worst batter out there. And he's not the worst player. But on an all-star team where practically everyone's an all-star, Josh Reddick just kind of seems... Yeah. And... Maybe Kyle Tucker can come in and be better, which is what I'm kind of hoping. I want to see Kyle Tucker come in. He's going to be pretty good defensively, I hope. And he's definitely going to be better offensively with the bats. And this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, I don't really know if Josh Reddick's really as good defensively as people claim. But he is known for stealing those home runs. But like I said, this is good. Integrating him in. I hope Jordan Alvarez comes back as soon as possible because we need him. We need every player as soon as possible for as long as possible. Short season. This isn't exactly a long season. We're going to have a sluggish start. We need a good start. And I don't. I, I really hope Jordan Alvarez is going to be here opening day. I really hope he's here at the beginning of the season. Only a 60 game season. You better be here. But if not, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Cal Tucker can be in the designated hitter spot. And if then I think that'd be pretty good. That offense is still really good, even with Josh Reddick being, you know, there the way he is on hitting. And he does Josh Reddick does help on defense. And we still have Verlander. Pitching, uh, we still have Lance McCullers Jr. pitching, we still have Zach Granke pitching, we still have pretty good pitchers in the starting rotation. I think the biggest question is once again the bullpen, but we'll see how things go. Uh, this is just a little quick video, just kind of me rambling on about Kyle Tucker, Michael Brentley, Josh Reddick, Jordan Alvarez, and that whole situation. And like I said, we got to really come, we might not have Jordan Alvarez at the beginning of the season. Which isn't good, but it's hopefully not the end of the, not the end. We still got a really great offense. And like I said, Josh Reddick's not a terrible player. He just, you know, happens to be around some of the best players in the league. 